What's good, guys? Today is Sunday, December the 4th, 2022. This video, as you can tell, will be regarding the Shanquilla Robinson case. And specifically, um, I had a lot of comments telling me to go watch the lead attorney's interview with Gerardo Zuninga. And so I've done that now. And so I appreciate you all for um, pointing me in the right direction. And um, I also want to thank my friend Dee Walsh. Uh, you'll hear her name a lot. You'll see her in the comments. Um, but I want to thank you guys for pointing me in the right direction. So now I understand it a little bit better. Um, Gerardo Zuninga, who does work for Metropolimix, um, was the one that broke this case. And he's doing so... Um, at the risk of his own safety and his own life, because I think we all know how um, it goes down in Mexico. And I want to tell you just briefly that I, I do have a large amount of family in Mexico, uh, in the state of um, Jalisco, and it hasn't been safe for us to travel there in quite some time. And um, as a matter of fact, the last time we did go, um, they asked us to have a day flight. We couldn't get that. We had a night flight. So we landed at some uh, probably 9 o'clock uh, local time in Guadalajara. And we had quite a little drive at night back to the town where they live, and uh, which is Guzman. And... Um, we got pulled over. Uh, it's not safe to drive there at night. We got pulled over and they told us to shut our mouths. Don't even say a word. That's how dangerous it is. So now, uh, putting all that into perspective um, and knowing that Gerardo Zuniga is really the only person we have on the ground that's willing to take that risk to get this case um, the attention it deserves. I'm going to ride with him. I'm going to ride behind him. Um, but I thank you guys for pointing me in the right direction because, you know, I was just kind of on the fence about it. Um, our outlets are saying one thing and he's down there stomping his feet saying, no, this is what we know here. And because of this new system that Mexico has in place now, it is harder for them to get public information. So he has to use his sources um, whatever they may be to get the information that he needs. And because of how Americans report their news with sources, uh, the proof, um, we're not going to ride off of his back and just take his word on it. So I get it now. I got it. Um, now moving on, what I wanted to speak about is I've heard several people saying that, um, that Dejanay Jackson is not on the Interpol red notice list. And she's not. But I want to uh, make mention of this. And I've not heard anybody read this part. So I want you guys to hear this part. Because it is crucial to why she may not be on this list. So let's take a look at this. Now, this is the Interpol website. And this is specifically the red notice list. And you can search and view the public red notices for wanted persons, okay? But I want to make mention of what it says here. It says a red notice is a request to law enforcement worldwide to locate and provisionally arrest a person pending extradition, surrender, or similar legal action. A red notice is not an international arrest warrant. The individuals are wanted by the requesting member country or international tribunal. Member countries apply their own laws in deciding whether to arrest a person. 
and here's the most important part. The majority of red notices are restricted to law enforcement use only. And I'm going to reread that. Restricted to law enforcement use only. <laughs> Extracts of red notices are published at the request of the member country concerned and where the public's help may be needed to locate an individual if the individual may pose a threat to public safety. Now, um, she's not on this list. And I have this pulled up. Nationality, United States. Female gender. And I put the age from 0 to 28. All right. Total number of public red notices in circulation overall are 7,108. There are no results for your search. Please select different criteria. The reason is because she's not in there. And chances are the reason she's not in there is because she was picked up. Now, I wanted to make sure you heard that law enforcement use only because they don't have to publish that, at least publicly. They don't have to. And from my understanding, they pretty much knew where she was. Um, now, whether she was in Connecticut fleeing or whether she was there for other reasons, I don't know that. But um, if they want you, if Interpol or the FBI wants you, they know pretty much where you are, especially someone who is um, not a seasoned criminal, uh, not used to living off the grid, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to let you guys know that the red notice um, not being there for Dejanay Jackson means absolutely nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. And I want to say this. I take the responsibility of this channel very seriously. I don't like to report things that I don't know about uh, because I don't like eating crow. And I will do it. If I've said something that is wrong or incorrect, I will come back and uh, correct it. And, you know, I did publish that Dejanay was arrested. And then I started seeing these other things surface that made me question that. But after watching the lead attorney and hearing Gerardo Zuniga speak about this and how difficult it is under this new system, I understand it a great deal better. So, um, I just wanted to take the time to do a video to thank you guys for pointing me in the right direction. And also to correct the um, red notice, or at least give you the full information on why she may not be on the red notice list. And um, that's all I have to say on this right now. Uh, I'm working on the next person in line of the Cabo Six to show a little bit more about them. And um, I also want to say this, that this testimony... Uh, that I spoke about in my video yesterday, I understand from Gerardo Zuniga, has came from two people who are talking. So two people are talking. And they are pointing fingers. So <laughs> this ought to get really interesting. So I'm going to stay on top of this. I'm not going to let this case fall to the wayside. Uh, it's not going to get stale. And I'm actually thinking about um, covering another case, well, a couple of other cases that I've seen that are mind-blowing, uh, that have not got the attention. One has, one hasn't. But I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. And thank you all for pointing me in the right direction. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.